This is a funny story. Oh, no. Jack Black will play Steve in the live action Minecraft movie. What? <laughs> oh, welcome, God. welcome to reality <laughs> chat. Thing is, I do love Jack Black, though. I do like him a lot. This is the kind of thing that but you would... But as Steve in Minecraft. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that you would you would have as a dream, and you'd wake up and like, ha, that was silly. Wait, it's real. And now it is. Yes, it's real, apparently. Uh, this is not the fake disbussing film. <laughs> this is the real disgusting film. Uh, and uh, there's uh, <laughs> also this. This is a picture of Jack Black reading a book entitled Minecraft Basics for Dummies. So, yeah, this, uh, this now exists. Dude, every time that room tells me Jack Black's a Jew, I'm like, no, he's not. No. I, I have no idea. But, I, uh, I didn't know either. Minecraft is a shadow of what I think it could have been. That's a good point, Caligius. At least he's attempting to learn the source. Well, pretending to attempt to learn the source. <laughs> I don't know about Jack Black. I um I have found him funny in some things in the past. Uh, he I've got the impression before that he's not a soulless corpo, uh, uh, nothing actor. And so you know stuff like this indicates maybe he has a soul. And he's a real person. Wes doesn't like him. I don't know. I, I have no idea if he's if he's uh, if he's he he was the star of a video game once, so maybe that indicates that he likes video games. Think he feels as he does. So I don't know. But uh, the idea of making a Minecraft movie is silly of in and of itself, and it was also silly when they tried to make a, a story based video game of it. The reason Minecraft is popular is not because of any kind of story. The reason it's popular is because it gives you freedom. It's not scripted. You don't have to develop a breathing down your neck, or you didn't used to. But pro progressively, more and more, they have treated it like every other video game franchise, and so now it's almost indistinct from other products, or it's getting in that direction anyway. The original game, of course, still has plenty of the um, the original soul of it, um, or the original materials that were used to build it, but I still feel like, similarly to, to you with, with architecture, I still feel like something has been lost from the original, or some potential mm. has not been realized with Minecraft. I think it could have been so much more than it was. It, it could have been the base every game in which every other game could be replicated. And it could have been made easy to do that with. But instead, it... It's like it, it could have been... Um, it could have been as infinite as the Minecraft world itself is, but instead it's just this little cave. It's, it, they just kept it small. They just kept the, the ambition and the vision for it small. Because I, th I think Notch made Minecraft by accident. He had no idea how good and in demand what he was making was. He just applied his autism directly to a, uh, a JWGL experiment, whatever it was, the graphics library he was using. He was just fucking around. And people liked it, so he just kept on it. He had no idea what he was doing. and. He he didn't ever have a vision for it. He didn't know what he wanted, I don't think. Um, and so when he got to a certain point, he he didn't really know. And eventually, uh, you know, the development may have slowed down, or you know, the vision stopped being realized. Sort of focusing on bug fixing instead, which was needed. But then when Microsoft bought it, and by the way, Microsoft did not cause this problem. They just precipitated it. They just continued it. After Microsoft bought it, they did exactly what you'd expect. They made it commercial. But of course, they still let Mojang have some creative control, but without Notch, it was just coasting from that point. And it was mostly under, under you know, Microsoft's uh, vision that anything really happened. It was... It, it, since then, it's been like, which new mob do you want us to add? It, such low ambition for what could have been such a grander project. Um... They needed someone to take over who actually knew what could be done with it. But then Microsoft took over and Notch left, which is almost the, the perfect recipe for it to just coast and, um, and, and, and uh, stagnate, which is kind of what's happened. The best thing you can do with it now is um, mod it, either on the server side or on the client side. But what I'm saying is it should have got to the point where the modded experience basically is the base experience. That the game was so generalized 
that it would be easy for anyone to make any game in Minecraft. And it could have been done relatively easily, start from the bottom up, which is what they did with the, the world renderer. Also, these days, you know how Minecraft still doesn't perform quite as well as you'd expect it to? There are um, game engines that have been made since Minecraft, which allow for literally trillions of blocks to be rendered at the same time. So you could have like, I don't know, 1024 view distance in Minecraft without slowing it down. There are very much better ways to render Minecraft than Minecraft is rendered. Um, and uh, so I feel like for the last almost 10 years, a genuine successor to Minecraft should have been just around the corner. But for some reason, it still hasn't happened yet. Um, Gamma, Gary's mod is not as general. It's based on um, Half-Life. Its or, or origin point is a first-person shooter game with barely editable landscape. Like, everything, you're everything you will be describing there with Gary's mod is a mod anyway. You can do that with Minecraft. My point is that... It, it's hard to describe exactly what I mean, but that Minecraft could have been as potentially infinite as, as, a, um, as a, a basis that you would get actual commercial products based in the Minecraft engine. Like, a, like, like, a, like, because there's all kinds of game engines that exist that companies use all the time. You could have Minecraft essentially be that, where it's a complete game on its own, but you can also build full commercial products in it. Um, and that you wouldn't need to use someone else's modding framework to do it, that all the tools to do it would be built in already. They could, I think, have done that. Because all Minecraft is, is a basic game engine with a few assumptions about how the world will be built. It's, it's this blocky style. But the blocky style, as it turns out, is fine. A game, and this is important, games do not need to have good graphics to be successful. To be successful with normies, they kind of do. Because normies can only really understand this is an analog to real life. But for people that understand abstract thinking, they don't have to be. Especially autists. They don't have to have good graphics, they just have to have good gameplay and good game mechanics. Having a world where you have a bunch of basic building blocks, literally blocks, and you can just have an infinite scope of those blocks, and you have some, some things built in, but you can easily change them. Just making a few assumptions like that would make it a lot easier for people to get into making games. It could have been a, a game engine similar to what Unity is, um, but you know, a, a bit more specific than Unity, but so that anyone could make games with it. Um, if they had focused on resources to build rather than just survival gameplay mechanics like in every other game it could have been a lot bigger could have been a lot better i think galudia is kind of like dreams i guess but dreams wasn't very good as far as i know mario shows that normally don't want photorealistic games they want pretty graphics you could you could argue that but in that sense minecraft has at least distinctive stylized graphics and we know that they can be better because shaders exist. Uh, no one, I don't think anyone's tried to create a successor to Minecraft in a way that would actually work yet. There's a bunch of clones which are just trying to latch onto the uh, this popularity of Minecraft. And there are a few projects that do seem to innovate, but not in a way that I think is sufficient. What you need is a project that innovates a lot. 